This video is about how to set up and use a laser level. And um, laser level is used to read the grade of the ground if you have um, multiple uh, levels that you need to do. Um, I use it for prepping house pads. Um, this is kind of a unique situation I'm needing to set it up for here for a different project. But I want to show you um, basically how it works and how to use it in case you ever need to. Um, generally it comes with a, a tripod here. And a measuring stick. That's retractable. head here that spins and sets on top of the tripod and then you have this end attaches to your measuring stick to read your grade in various places so what you're able to do is establish a reference point of what the grade is and then bring up or down your other points to where you want um, or need your grade to go um, Obviously for, for water control or various things, these are used all the time. Um, similar to what uh, used to be, well, people still use transits. Um, this is a uh, one man deal and a little bit quicker and a little bit simpler, I think, to use. Um, so let's get it set up and I'll show you how it works. First thing I do is um, I get my tripod set up. I like to set my tripod up in a spot that I'm going to be able to leave it if possible in case I need to do continued grading um, and check back with it um, throughout my job. But um, right now I'm just kind of seeing where I'm at. I've done kind of a rough grade on this project and I just want to see where I'm at. Um, for this purpose here, I actually want to make sure that I'm coming downhill a little bit for, um, for water drainage. But in some cases, you want to make sure you're level all the way around if you're doing a, a foundation or a footer or anything like that. So your tripod does not have to be completely level. I try to push it down into the ground to get it stable and reasonably level. But your head has a, um, an adjustment on it. So you fasten your head in here. Let me get a shot of this. Um, just fasten your head down, it screws in, and you can adjust a little bit with your legs, but the head will actually, um, you level it with these two screws here that cock it both ways. So it takes a couple minutes to get it, zero it in. I could use to be a little bit better with my corners here, with my tripod here. And then you have the little bubble levels here. I'll zero into this. Um, you just want to make sure that those are right in the middle there and over here. Okay, this one is good that way. It's close. I need to get a little bit further out here. One thing to note on these, if it's a really hot day or a really cold day throughout the day, if you set this up in the morning, check your levels throughout the day because the temperature can sometimes, um, uh, for some reason, throw, throw it off. So just, you don't want to go and do a bunch of dirt grading and then find out that somebody kicked it or something happened where this shifted a little bit and it changed or went out of level. So 
I don't know what it is, but I've just had that before where it's a 40 degree morning and by lunchtime it's warm and um, somehow it um, may be expanding of the plastic or whatever it might be. It's actually thrown it out of level a little bit. So it's a, it's a machine of precision, so, or a, uh, a tool of precision, so you want to make sure that you're accurate with it. Okay, so zeroing in here. You want to be right in between the middle so you're level both ways. Put that way. Okay. Okay. We're level both ways. And then um, <clears throat> this one has various settings for different things, but the main thing for reading grade, you're gonna push it once and it's gonna start spinning the top with the laser. And that laser is shooting out. It claims 800 feet on this one. I've never used it more than about 100 feet. Um, the further you go out, the less accurate it is because if it is off by a fraction on one way or the other, as the laser um, shoots out, the further away it is, the more off it is. So I've found this to be um, very, very accurate. I think it claims an eighth of an inch accuracy within um, 100 to 200 feet or something like that. Um, so anyhow then, this is your um, receiver side. And when you push this on, it's gonna beep when it's at grade. So, It, it beeps. You can see there's a color on this particular model. It's a little high there. Red. The red beeps is high and it's pointing down. As I come down, it beeps blue. Now it's saying I need to go up a little bit. And that's level. So when it hits the blue, that beep, then you know you're good to go. So I would lock in if where it's at right now, um, if that's level, I mean, if that's the grade I want to read, I think you need to stop beeping. Um, so you establish your grade at one spot. I'm going to go to the high spot down at the other end here, and I'm going to establish my grade, and then I'm going to see, my intention is, is that the grade coming down is going to slope downward as I come closer this way. So. I'm going to establish the grade up here and see how many inches per foot the grade drops as I come in this way. And um, that's the purpose of what I'm doing right here. I'll show you how it's done. Come on. So, uh, come closer. I have, uh, obviously, you can't, if you start at the higher grade, and establish where you want to be, then you can see from the lower grade where you need to be. The other side around would be as if you start at the lower grade, the challenge is, is if you need to go lower, you obviously can't push the stick further down into the ground. So um, when I do it, I usually start at the higher spot and then I'm able to see uh, as I go around a foundation or whatever else, I, uh, I go to each spot and I see, okay, that corner's high, so this corner needs to go up an eighth, this corner needs to go up a quarter inch, and I can see how much it needs to come up. If you started at the lowest spot, obviously you can't go to the higher spot and just because you obviously can't push the stick down into the ground or into concrete block if it's a, if it's a footer or something like that. And so that's why it makes sense to me to start at the highest point and then you'll be able to see at the bottom how much you need to uh, come up with your grade in order to, to make it right. So I'm going to start right here and I'm gonna zero it in, so we're about 50 feet away here. Okay, and I'm zeroing into my grade right there. Okay, so that's great there. So as I come this way, I'm lifting it up, lifting it up. 
okay? So right there, if I needed to know precisely, I'd take a tape measure and I'd see, but I can see right here, just from my eye and the dirt work here, I need I'm about three inches high. I'm sorry, three inches lower there than I was over here, which is what I want. So down, coming down this way. I'm about the same. So I, I, I need to take more dirt out from this end, which is what I suspected, but this will help to read that with precision. So what's happening here actually, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to level coming down. That's three inches there too. So I started up at the top, at the higher, at the higher level, and then at the, at the, my, well, I'd say my grade, my, my reference point, and coming in every approximately 10 feet here. Um, the first 10 foot was a three, foot, three inch drop, which is what I want. The second 10 foot was still a three inch drop. So what I need to do down in this end is take more dirt down so that my water drains out um, for this particular project. Um, I hope that is helpful for you in learning how to, basically how a laser level works. Let me turn this off. Um, there's a lot of other uses for the laser levels. Um, they use them for drop ceilings. Um, I mean, endless different things you can use them for, but uh, basically anywhere where you need to establish uh, a grade line or a, or a straight line all the way around, um, and you wanna be accurate. Because if you just take a four foot level and um, I've got one right here. I could take a four foot level here and put it along the ground and it might look like it's level, but it's not gonna be accurate. It may be, um, if it's an eighth of an inch off every two, three feet, you're gonna be, you know, that trans translates out into be um, very inaccurate. So um, again, hopefully that helps. Uh, thank you for watching.